drama, dude. Now, hey guys, how are you? So, the first round of the brownies icing. went so well, but there was a few things I wanted to do. We did add some icing sugar, icing and chocolate ganache to the top, which was amazing, but a little bit naughty. So I decided that, considering we're doing Easter, I wanted to revise this brownie mixture, and there's two reasons for it. One, I want to make it a little bit more, actually I could eat this for breakfast, lunch and dinner because it's actually kind of good for me. And two, the sweetener that I'm using is actually going to be um, prunes, which prunes are strangely, for me personally, rated really, really high for me nutritiously, but also for all the digestive problems and situations that all of us humans are going to have coming out of Easter time. So consider these to be like a detox brownie or a rebalance and reset brownie. Um, Dude, and you're welcome. Fuck. So the recipe called for the, um, the, the cooking of the lentils. So I've done that. I'm just going to quickly lay those down. All it was, I showed you guys earlier how to cook the lentils. All I've done Dude, is a guy hiding in the with mix those. They're still quite warm, which is wonderful. Then the recipe calls for us to take our sweetener and add the oil, which I've got the recipe above, the oil, the chocolate. So I'm only using half the chocolate. I did grab the organic Aldi brand chocolate, but only half of it because I'm, you know what, we've had enough chocolate this Easter, but it still needs a little bit. <laughs> so the chocolate's going in there. I'm going to substitute that with some cacao powder. So half the chocolate, half cacao powder. And the other thing is, this looks a bit, yeah. Weird, but all I've done here is soak two cups of prunes and three cups of hot boiling water and then let that soak for today. Then I've come in my food processor and I've used the sorry, magic bullet to make this puree. So it's still sweet, but what this is going to do, guys, is this is going to make it gooey and delicious. It's going to take, it's going to bring in a sweetness plus a tartness that's going to give this a whole rounded flavor effect. So I'm actually going to take all of the prunes, I've substituted the maple syrup, half Dude, of the sugar, me. There's three people and, LSD. Yeah, and I've added in a little bit of extra of that just to give it so much more flavour. So that's just going to go straight in. So that's two cups of the puree, straight in with that chocolate mixture. That's going to cook it down a bit more, which A, is going to make it a little bit sweeter and more caramelised because we like that caramelised flavour. I'm going to bring that slightly to the heat. It's also calling for a nut butter. Now, this this recipe, this version, this time. Dude, how um, is that not a five, man? What I'm going the to whole do. Thing is there. <laughs> what I'm going to do. It's Easter time. Everyone's on their game. We're going to work with it because I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching at home have probably got the same thing in the background. So I'm just going to bring that yeah. off the heat slightly. Give it a good mix. It actually looks like a delicious chocolate sauce, guys. Hence, actually, you could totally just use this prune cacao and a little bit of chocolate mixture and use it as a chocolate dipping sauce. Into that I'm just going to add my vanilla, give it a little bit more heat vanilla. Now in here I'm going to add, because it's still hot guys remember, the lentils are still quite warm, I'm going to add my little bit of salt so it makes it like salted caramel. It also lifts the flavour of the um, lentils. I'm going to add in here my baking powder and I'm going to add in here well, that's the other part of my sugar. Sorry, that's coconut sugar that I've used. So remember, I said half sugar, and the rest of it I'm using prune juice. But in here, I'm going to use the heat of the lentils with my almond butter. Thank you, Aldi. Almonds are rated really high for me. You could use cashew butter, sunflower seed butter, um, any of those nut butters. It's two thirds of a cup, which is about two large, almost the jar full, two large teaspoons full into there. This is now getting to quite a good temperature here. Use the heat of the pan to now melt the sugar and the um, sugar, sugar, the sugar and the prune. I'm trying to remember my words. Wow. You didn't know, I just, I'm just ridden 35 kilometers with a friend. Oh my gosh. May not be able to sit tomorrow, but that's okay. It's all for entertainment. From there, I'm just going to pop that in. Luckily, guys, my food processor, it has a hole in the top, Dude, so any excess heat will be extracting out the top. Man. I'm not concerned about that, guys, and it's also a heat-proof bowl. Yeah, I If you're gonna get a food that. processor, contact me because I'll let you know which one is the best one. I fucking hate Look at that, it just looks crap. like a chocolate sauce. Can you taste Kelsey? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cadence. Cadence is fussy. I'm, I'm surprised she's trying it. 
So yeah. that's the main, the main part of the batter. I'm going to give that a quick mix. Then I'm going to add in my flour. We're going to pop it in here. We're going to chop up some frozen strawberries out of the freezer straight on top. So super easy. All in the one pot. Where'd my lid go? There we go. Now, like I said, everything I make is always like suggestive. It's always taste it and see how it tastes. If you make this, like we're gonna taste the batter before we finish it. If you make this and you go, oh, it needs a bit more sweetener, do go ahead and find a sweetener, whether it's honey, whether it's sugar, whether it's um, syrup, whatever it is. Find what works for you. If you need this to be chocolatey, go for gold. This is your taste buds, this is your dish. I'm just giving you the basis. You can play with your flavor as much as you desire. I'm just gonna manually stir that one. And I'm gonna... Holy guacamole. That's fine, that's just fine. I'm gonna pop that in the tray. Oh, we've got to add our flour in, guys. Gosh. Um, we've got so excited to over the flavour. Okay, we've got a little superstar that wants to be involved. Give that one a quick mix. into stir make sure there's no flour at the top straight into the pan now if you bake it okay this is where I love to share with you guys that there is no rules around food if you bake it and you go you know what it's come out that it's it's absorbed the sweetness and I feel like it needs a bit more something then what I've actually got is a little bit more of the pruned consistency left over and you can easily whip it up even uh, a little bit more if you need to just soak some prunes in some hot water, puree them down, um, and blitz them. From there, go back through the first couple of steps there and add some more cacao and maybe another sweetener, whether it be some honey, whatever it is, guys. I'm not, you, you don't need to be too fussed about this. Just create a nice syrup with the prunes and pour that on top. Uh, I'd probably recommend adding in a couple tablespoons of coconut oil or coconut cream. Our diversion is my favorite because it is, um, the most pure it's not organic no but it is the most pure okay <clears throat> push that one out to the edges yum so then i might actually make a little video tomorrow or later about how to make a really nice you know while i'm looking at it right here it would be my leftover pu prune puree some of my almond butter, just the rest of the jar. Let's keep it real simple. That, that, a couple tablespoons of that. A little bit of salt, so it's like a salted caramel. Yeah, that and then I would add in, for us, I think we might add some coconut cream, okay? Because the coconut cream will then set in the fridge. And that might be the topping that we add on top of this, just for a little bit of sexiness, because brownies deserve lots of sexiness. Then all I'm gonna do is grab my knife and take my frozen strawberries because this was a tray of strawberries I went to the fruit and veggie shop yeah, and bought the entire tray for $3. I think we had about 12 parts in there and so immediately I just froze a bunch of them because I'm gonna make <clears throat> a sexy ganache to go on top. I don't give two hoots how I put my strawberries down uh, because they're gonna get covered. But as long as we, went, we get a good mouthful or two because the thing is is that the, 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 the um, lentils even though we've added a fair bit of sweetener, <clears throat> they still have their own flavor. It's not, it's not a normal chocolate cake flavor, guys. Um, just to, to, be, to be aware, whenever you're making a substitute, yeah, it's not gonna be the same as plain flour. You just have to figure out how to deal with that. But um, I guarantee you, it is delicious, it is nutritious, it is gonna satisfy all of your needs, all of your desires, um, and then some. Uh, but one thing I noticed last time, was that the the dough this here is actually the perfect consistency and perfect flavor as a mousse by itself without even cooking it guys because there's no egg in there so I'm not fretting about that yeah 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 
I mean, actually, you may want to put a little yeah. bit of cinnamon or a little bit of honey on top. And you know what? Just because we're here, we're live, and I'm collaborating with you guys, I'm just going to share with you that I'm actually also going to put on here. Just because I can, because it's my show. <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon across the top. So that way, as the, um, the fruit is cooking, as the whole thing is cooking, it's going to get a little bit of a cinnamony crust. It's going to caramelize with the um, the fruit. And I know this seems weird, but we're just going to do a little sprinkle of salt across the top. So that as we put these layers on here, we've got salted caramel, chocolate, caramelized strawberries. We've got cinnamon in there. We've just got a whole lot of sexy goodness. I'm going to bake this one up. Quickly whip up this um, ganache before the kids go to bed. And I'll post a picture of it. How does that sound? Nice and easy. All it's going to be is, that's probably a cup of prune puree, a tablespoon of almond butter. I'm going to add a tablespoon, a sexy tablespoon, like I mean a real sexy tablespoon, voluptuous should I say, a uh, tablespoon of cacao no, powder, sure a sprinkle of salt, and probably let's go with two table. This is how I create guys. Let's go with two tablespoons of coconut cream. That'll be the ganache to go on top. Done. You're welcome.